Okay, let's try to graph now a function, a logarithmic function, the one that you see on your screen, f of x equals to log with base 2 of x plus 1 minus 3. The first thing that we want to do is to uh, review uh, information that this rule gives us. Uh, the first thing that we want to know is that uh, the logarithmic functions always have vertical asymptotes. The vertical asymptotes can be solved if you uh, solve the, um, the argument of the logarithmic function right here, x plus 1. So the number that uh, is a 0 for this function right here is going to be the number that gives us the vertical asymptote. So the vertical asymptote in this case is going to be x equals to negative 1. How do we graph this function? Okay, the first and simplest way is by creating a table of values. I have done this for you and I have calculated the corresponding uh, f of x for each one of the numbers that you see on the first column, negative 1 half, 0, 1, 3, 7, and 15. Now, uh, these uh, numbers right here may seem strange, but basically these numbers right here are numbers that if you plug them in in the x plus 1 argument of the logarithm, uh, they will give you a perfect, uh, uh, a perfect uh, uh, power of the number 2. So if you get negative 1 half in here, then x negative 1 half plus 1 will be 1 half, and 1 half can be written as uh, 2 to the negative 1. Why? Let me remind you right here that uh, uh, if you have any negative power, let's say 2 to the negative 1, then uh, by using the uh, rules of powers, this is going to be equal to 1 over 2 to the first. What we do is that we consider the negative exponent and we rewrite the power as a fraction where at the numerator you have the number 1 and at the denominator you have the same power with a positive exponent. That is nothing else than the 1 half. So basically, what you have right here is log of the 1 half, that is log of 2 to the negative 1, and since the log is nothing else than the power, this, the result of that, is going to be negative 1. Negative 1, negative 3 is equal to negative 4, and this will give us the point negative 1 half, comma, negative 4. In the same way, if you enter the number 0 in your logarithm, then you have the log of 1. The log of 1 right here is, is going to be equal to 0 because log of 1 is always 0 no matter what the base is. So you have 0 minus 3 is negative 3. In the same way, I find all the rest of the numbers here and I produce the points that you see on your screen right here. So the next step that I want to do is to graph all these points together on a graph. Let's do it. So as you can see right here, I have graphed each one of those points on my graph. So 1 comma negative 2 is going to be the point 1 right here, negative 2. Uh, 3 comma negative 1. 7 comma 0. 15 comma 1. 0 comma negative 3 and uh, negative one half comma negative four. Okay, so these are the points, and if you observe these points, you will see that they give me a function, a curve. Uh, they seem to be on a curve, and this curve tends to um, um, come from the negative infinity from down here. Um, we don't know if this uh, curve uh, uh, converges anywhere, so uh, what I will do now is I'm going to graph the actual function for you, log with base 2. With base 2 of the x plus 1, and I subtract from here the number 3. So uh, the, the green curve that you see is the graph of our function. And as you can see, it passes through each one of the points that you see on your, on, on your screen, the ones that we found from our table.
Okay, good. And we also see that it converges. If you pay attention where this converges, you will see that this is the line, the vertical line that you see right here is x equals to negative 1. And uh, this is the vertical asymptote that we found from our um, function. So this is the graph. This is the graph that we obtain if we graph all the points from our table and we connect them together on uh, one curve. Writing down what is your vertical asymptote right here, it is extremely important for your, um, for your graph. So x equals to negative 1 should always be in your graph. Not x equals to negative 1, but the vertical asymptote that you get from the rule should always be in your graph.